this, is The Jesting Journal, and I'm your host, Marcel Brooks. Today's top story, inside a panhandler's treasure vault, and later, a woman finds herself in Lost and Found. Stay with us. Sprawled out on his California King, with green camouflage sheets, Don, a Las Vegas panhandler awoke in time to allow reporters entry into his money vault. The 94 by 50 feet room, showcased the payoff from Don's hard work of asking people for money. Next to the gold and green covering his shelves, were a few memorabilia items from Don's experiences, such as photos with many celebrities who stopped to give him money, and his most prized possession, his first ever cardboard sign that reads the books stop here. Anything helps. When asked if he had any plans to get a job, he quickly turned his lava lamp on and off before announcing. This interview is over, but brother can you spare a 50? I really could use your spare change. Wow! And my parents said I was lazy. Guess not. Let's now hear from Marsha Duffman for an interesting story about a woman finding herself in Lost and Found. Thanks Marcel. I was once lost, but now I've been found, proclaimed Gloria Gideon, as she recounted her time spent in an amusement park's Lost and Found office. The heartwarming story describes how a woman, who was once crazy with rage, found peace inside as she discovered that her lost phone was turned in and wasn't stolen like she had accused every person who crossed her path of taking. I can, breathe now thanks to the lost and found department of this fine amusement park. I'm sorry for assaulting that security guard, she said after taking a selfie. The lost and found it department released a statement following the ordeal, it states, while we are happy to see Gloria reclaim her phone as well as a shift in her perspective about the purpose of life, we ask that all visitors refrain from acting so immaturely. Grow up or don't visit. Peace out. Fascinating story, Marsha. So glad I didn't have to report on that one. So boring. Today's forecast is going to get as hot as 10 degrees Fahrenheit in, oh I don't know, let's say the tiny state of Alaska. Let's also assume that somewhere in Russia will have a low of 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Look for exactly the same temperatures throughout the week with scattered moonshine. This just in, mullets are still cool, especially the kind that look like macaroni noodles stuck to the back of the head and all driver's licenses in the state of Louisiana, that were issued on the recipient's birthday, are being revoked. The reason listed as to why is, because of typos. Thank you for listening to the Jesting Journal. News, you never knew you needed. The Jesting Journal is written and produced by J.B. Davis. News theme is by Kevin McLeod. Find more of his songs at incomptech.filmmusic.io. Follow The Jesting Journal on Instagram. If you enjoy getting your news from The Jesting Journal, please give us a 5-star review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you for listening.